started with a trend and now it's some part of our culture. Girls are like... Oh, it's so gross! I remember the girls them think it's nasty. I like the taste and it makes me feel good. Then I had a little egg leak also. Um, you know, your upper lip and your teeth turn kind of yellow and stuff. Especially Swedish people. Yeah. I, I see them uh, buying this. Uh... People are kind of almost proud of. It's not in the, in a lot of places. It's like mainly in Sweden. It feels funny to know how to It's a part of Sweden, I think. <laughs> Snooze. Snooze is a form of smokeless tobacco that is placed under your lip. You can buy it in small pouches or as a form of loose tobacco. The main ingredients are salt, water and tobacco. This special mix of ingredients gives snooze its characteristic taste and feel. Snooze is banned in the entire EU with an exception of Sweden. A total of 18% of all men in Sweden use snus. And more than 6,000 tons are consumed each year. When reading an article about snus in English speaking papers, you often end up reading about Sweden as well. This might have to do with the fact that the world leading snus company, Swedish Match, is from Sweden. It might also be that Swedes are the leading consumers of snus in the world. Or, it might be that Sweden is the only country in the EU where it is actually legal to sell snus. However, one thing is clear. Sweden and snus are deeply correlated. Matt Richtel and David Jolly from the New York Times wrote an article about snus on the 29th of November 2014. The headline of the article read, Studying snus, a smokeless tobacco from Sweden. This is only one of many articles that correlate Sweden and snus does not seem to matter what the article itself is about. If you read about snus, you read about Sweden. But what is the reason to this? Why are Swedes so fond of snus? Why do Swedes use snus? We decided to interview the Swedish public, but also experts in the subject, to see what they had to say about snus. After the interviewing process, we discovered that there were three main aspects to why Swedes use snus. Masculinity, culture, and health. According to Swedish Match, 80% of all snooze consumers are men, and only 20% are women. Why is it like this? I really don't know, but um, I think maybe because snooze often affects um, you know, your upper lip and your teeth turn kind of yellow and stuff. And um, girls are more like wary of their appearances and like, no, I don't want to ruin my teeth, I don't want to do that and that. I think it's that snooze is more manly. Women are not snooze. I think that men are more tolerant to it because they don't think it's uh, gross or so. Girls are like, oh, it's so gross. Because maybe the girls them think it's nasty. <laughs> the public seems to believe that the reason to this is due to a macho culture among snooze users, that it is considered manly to do snooze, and that it is unattractive for women. Elaine Edholm, educational officer from Swedish Match, seemed to believe that the macho snooze culture began already in the 19th century amongst a manly consisting working class. According to Hans Gilliam, professor at the Karolinska Institute, another reason might be that snooze advertisement was targeted towards young men by sponsoring athletes such as hockey players. När jag var i er ålder ungefär, då började de här herrmagasinen komma med avklädda flickor, alltså måttligt avklädda med dagens mått med. Och, och de fick en väldig spridning och i de tidningarna, där började det dyka upp snusreklam. Och oftast med ungdomsidoler av olika, alltså unga manliga idrottsidoler, alltså hockeyspelare och fotbollsspelare och sånt. 
och då reklampelare för. We interviewed ex NHL hockey player Burje Salming. He believed that snus is more used by men due to it being seen as macho. He also stated that snus was commonly used by hockey players 30 years ago, but that it has decreased over time. Enligt Swedish Match så är 80% av alla snusanvändare män och ända 20% kvinnor. Varför tror du att det är så? Nej, jag vet inte. Det är mer macho och håller till den här snusen antagligen. Under din tid som hockeyspelare skulle du säga att snus var en del av den svenska hockeykulturen? Ja, lite en del förut var det, men nu är det också mycket egentligen. Men nu är det, nu är det inte. The long history of snus usage among men has resulted in snus becoming a symbol for masculinity. Since the 19th century, snus has been highly consumed among Swedes. The public seem to think that the high usage of snus in Sweden is connected with tradition, that because it has been around for so long, it is in our roots. This tradition can make it more attractive for Swedes to start using snus, as they consider it unique for Sweden. As one man stated, it's almost as if we Swedes are proud of using snus. It might be that it is passed on through family or friends, however, the public and the experts seem to agree upon the fact that snus consumption in Sweden seems to be correlated with tradition and culture. It is a part of a Swedish, it is a part of culture, even if it is not snusar, even if it is not used snus. Så är det ju fortfarande en del av min historia. Och jag tror att skulle man se på Sverige utifrån och skulle kunna och, och liksom skulle få i uppdrag att liksom definiera vissa punkter att det här finns inte någon annanstans, då skulle ju snuset komma på den listan. Det är jag helt övertygad om. Skulle du säga att snus är en del av svensk kultur? Eh, ja, det tror jag där. Det tror jag. Och varför tror att det är det? Jag vet inte, för att det finns fan inte någon annanstans knappt. Jag tror att det är i vår our kultur. Folk har varit med om det. Ja, det är populärt. Skulle du säga att snus är en stor del av den svenska kulturen? Ja. Varför? Jag vet inte. Det är som... The, the identity. People are kind of almost proud of, like, yeah, we Swedish people, we snus, and we are like, yeah, snusers. I think it's uh, becoming a, started with a trend, and now it's become a part of our culture. Yes, it is. Why? Uh, because when you look at uh, 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 men's trousers, you, you can find the circle at the, their jeans. You know they're they're a snusser. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who didn't understand what this happy woman was talking about when she said, if you look at men's trousers, you can find a circle on their jeans. Let me explain. You see, snus consumers in Sweden carry their snus in a little circular plastic package, often referred to as snus dusa in Swedish. Most snus consumers usually carry their snus dusa in their jeans back pocket, and over time, the snus dusa creates a mark on their jeans just like a cell phone would. This unique circle is something you might only see in Sweden. According to the public, one of the reasons to snooze usage could be that it is healthier than smoking. It's a better option to smoking and it's more healthy. And This was also mentioned among the experts we asked. Hans Gilliam, professor in public health science, stated that breathing smoke through your lungs is far more dangerous than having a piece of tobacco under your lip. Swedish Match states that lung cancer has decreased among Swedish men for the last 20 years due to the fact that they are more prone to snus usage nowadays. It has been proven that snus is less harmful to the body than cigarettes. Many anti-smoking organizations, such as A Smokeless Generation, suggest snus as a healthier nicotine option than cigarettes. Uh, what do you think is the reason for the high consumption of snus in Sweden? Better rökning? No? Eh? Yeah. 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 I don't know, maybe the most of them don't like to smoke, so they don't like to smoke and snus instead. Uh, it's dangerous to smoke, so people who smoke think it's less, so, less dangerous to use snus instead. I think that uh, people use this uh, 
this method for getting rid of smoking or for getting uh, the time or uh, being a pro away of the cigarette. Why? Because to try to reduce smoking actually. Um, they say that they, it's almost had the same taste and it helps to forget a little bit how is it to smoke. People are quitting smoking and they then start shooting. 1964 så fick vi en larmrapport, en amerikansk larmrapport som fick en enormt genomslag. Inte bara i Sverige och inte bara i USA utan hela Europa. Massmedialt genomslag. Där man påvisade eh, kopplingen mellan lungcancer och rökning. Det var liksom den första riktigt stora, man håller på, håller på i två år med den här undersökningen. Eh, och då kan man se att cigarettkonsumtionen går ner direkt 1964. Och sen när vi fick väldigt starka krafter mot rökning då var det väldigt naturligt att gå över till snuset som en rökfri, ett rökfritt alternativ. Snus usage has been evident in Sweden since the 18th century. This gives us a variety of answers to why Swedes use snus. After interviewing experts in the subject and several members of the public we have come to the conclusion that people in Sweden use snus for three main reasons. Masculinity. More men use snus than women. Why men use snus is due to a macho culture. Culture. Snus usage has been evident in Sweden for over 200 years and snus consumers might see it as a Swedish tradition to use snus. Health. It has been proven that snus is a healthier option than cigarettes. Swedish snus consumers use snus instead of smoking because it is the healthier option. These three perspectives are all based on reliable sources and on an evaluation of the majority of opinions stated by the public. The two experts that we used both possess great knowledge and education in the subject. Hans Giliam is a professor in public health science and has worked as a doctor within tobacco-related illnesses. Elaine Edholm works at the largest snus company in the world. This might make her a bit biased towards snus as a product, however, she only stated facts and history. Not all people that we interviewed consumed snus, which means that what they said are not reasons to why you use snus, but opinions. However, many of the people that we asked actually did consume snus, which means that what they said are actual reasons to why you use snus. This makes them reliable sources. One or several of these three perspectives were mentioned as reasons to why snus consumers started using snus in the first place. The three stated perspectives seem to be the reason to why Swedish people use snus.